Hey everyone. Welcome back to Core Engineering YouTube channel where we simplify core engineering concepts. In today's video, we are diving into the performance characteristics of a centrifugal pump, a topic every mechanical, process, or chemical engineer must understand. Let's get pumping. What is a performance curve? When we talk about a pump's performance, we are usually referring to its performance curve. This curve is a graphical representation that tells us how a pump behaves under different operating conditions and it's usually provided by the manufacturer. In most cases, performance is plotted with flow rate, denoted as Q, on the x-axis and head, H, on the y-axis. But there's more to the story. Key Performance Characteristics Let's break down the five main performance characteristics of a centrifugal pump. First, head versus flow rate, the HQ curve. This is the main performance curve. As flow increases, the head usually decreases. Think of it as a trade-off. High flow, lower head, low flow, higher head. Second, brake horsepower versus flow rate, the BHPQ curve. This shows the power required to operate the pump. As flow increases, the power required also increases. This helps us size the motor properly. And here's a question for you all. What do you understand by the head of a pump? Third, efficiency versus flow rate, the Q curve. Every pump has a best efficiency point, or BEP. This is the sweet spot. Operating near the BEP minimizes energy losses and wear and tear. Fourth, NPSHR versus flow rate, the NPSHR Q curve. Net positive suction head required increases with flow rate. To avoid cavitation, the available NPSH must always be greater than the required. Fifth, system curve and operating point. When the pump curve intersects with the system curve, which represents piping and load, that's the operating point where your system will actually run. Why it matters? Why should we care about all these curves? Simple. They help us. Select the right pump. Avoid cavitation. Ensure energy efficiency. Prevent mechanical failure. Designing or operating without understanding these curves can lead to oversized motors, inefficient operation, even pump damage. If you want to deep dive into centrifugal pump videos, you must check out our centrifugal pump playlist. Real life example. Let's say you have a system that needs 50 cubic meters per hour at 40 meters head. You look at the manufacturer's performance curves and find the pump that hits this at the BEP. That's your best choice, efficient, stable, and reliable. And that's a wrap on centrifugal pump performance characteristics. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, drop a comment if you want us to cover topics like pump cavitation, NPSH, or other fluid dynamics concepts. Thanks for watching Core Engineering's performance characteristics of centrifugal pump video, where engineering meets clarity.